My symptoms have kept me up at night. But when I finally do fall asleep, I almost always dream. At least, I, I think it's a dream. What are they about? I'm in the room where you treated me, but I'm not alone. Well, of course you weren't. I was right there by your side. No, it's not you that I see. Okay, well then it was Nurse Gail. No, no, it's not her. It's blurry. It's just someone on a gurney. You have to tell me, David. Was I the only one there? Or was there another patient? Stem cells are unique in that they have the ability to divide and differentiate into any type of tissue. Early work focused on blood diseases. Leukemia. I mean, I, I've, I've read some of that research. Right, right. And there has been promise in the area of spinal cord injuries. Like with Greenlight. Right. But David has taken it even further. When the heart stops, heart and organ tissue die. If the damage is extensive enough, then resuscitation becomes impossible. So what you're talking about is bringing people back from the dead. I know this sounds like science fiction, but the potential has always been there. It just took someone like David Hayward to make that happen. No wonder the guy thinks he's God. So essentially what you're saying is all the people that we think are dead could still be alive. That's why I couldn't confide in Kendall. You think one of the people Hayward saved might be Zach? It's okay, I'll go get it. You just wait right here for me, okay? Okay. Get it, get it! All right, Dad. We have people out there looking for him. He's gonna be fine, but we'll keep you posted, okay? I appreciate it. Right. Well, I'm just gonna have to turn Jay over to the very capable hands of the Pine Valley Police Department. So I just strap my surfboard on the top of the car and... Turn our fortunes over to the uh, GPS in the car, which will no. take us right to the Cape of Cod. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I know that there's a, a part of you that wants JR to hit rock bottom, no he matter how hard, bottom. no matter how I mean, how many bottoms is he supposed oh, to hit? Just stop for a second, please? And I know there's another part of you that wants to be there to catch him now that he's falling. So, go find him. So, anyway, I said to Ralph... Ralph? <laughs> Ralph is the orderly that's sweet on me. Not that I've encouraged him much, anyway. What in the world has this got to do with Dixie Martin? Oh, you're still rambling on about ghosts. No, Dixie is alive. She's in that room. I, I haven't seen any ghosts. Dixie is not a ghost. She's here, but no one knows about it. Look, I know you have a very complicated relationship with Dixie Martin, but something is going on. Something huge. I need to talk to her. Ralph, Seth. Oh, please, no more about Ralph. Even if he could get you in to see Dixie. Ralph can do that? Ralph has keys. Of course he does. Would you ask him to do that for me? Well, Ralph would do anything for me if I asked, but I have one condition. You and I, we're friends. Okay. Friends for life. Deal? You're toying with me now, but this isn't a game. My life is on the line. You're going to talk to me, and you're going to give it to me straight. There was someone else, wasn't there? If there was, why would I tell you about it? Oh, David. No matter how hard you try, you're unable to choke down your utter joy at me being dependent on you for anything, let alone something as important as this. And here I thought I was doing a pretty good job hiding it. Oh, come on, David. How much do you love that I need you? And I'm desperate enough to ask for your help. You admitting to desperation? Now, Greenlee, you wouldn't be trying to play me, would you? If you've cured others, then you curing me the first time wasn't a fluke. And I'd be more likely to put myself in your care a second time. Nothing I ever do is based on luck. What you did was nothing short of a miracle. 
And if you could repeat that, you'd want the whole world to know and fall at your feet. But for some reason, you can't go public yet. But you can brag to me about it, knowing that I have everything to lose. Literally. <laughs> yes. Yes what? The answer to your question. There was someone else in that room. Who? Someone very near and dear. Someone taken from us way too soon. David. You don't mean... You'll have to leave now. Dr. Hayward needs his rest. That is perfect timing, nurse. I've been telling her the same thing. David, you can't just... You can't no just... more questions today, Greenlee. You're a smart woman. You'll know everything soon enough. that I'm the subject of this conversation that I just walked in on. Um, you guys could probably use some time alone. I'm gonna go meet Greenlee anyway, so... just lock up when you leave, okay? Okay. Well, whatever it is you and Ryan were talking about, I... I know better than to get it from you, so I'm just gonna follow Ryan's lead and I'm Handle. gonna go. Wait. You and I, we have a lot to talk about. Well, this sharing usually only goes one way, so I'm done. Thank you. Well, then why don't I start? I'm done working with David Hayward. I'm ready to tell you everything. No more secrets. No more holding back. Did you find it? Yeah, over here. Okay. Don't even think about it. What? Grabbing AJ. He's my son. Well, that doesn't give you the right to ruin his life. I just wouldn't tell him that I was sorry. No, you don't, JR. You want to try to keep him away from Marissa. Start turning him into your father. And as far as I'm concerned, you're already far enough down that road. I would never wish that upon anyone. Especially not AJ. Doesn't matter anyhow, he's gone. You know, I promised your mother I'd keep an eye on you. That's a promise I intend to keep. Thanks, Ralph. Your friend has five minutes. Oh, friend for life. Five. Why don't you throw it away, then? I got a better idea. Why don't you throw it away? I'm tired of cleaning up after your mess. He just told me that you swore to Mom you would do just that. No. I told you I promised your mother I'd look after you. And I've done that. At least I've tried to. But ultimately, your life, what happens to you is in your hands, not mine. You're the only one that can save it. You must forget who you're talking to. I'm J.R. Chandler, not some drunk in a park. <laughs> it's getting kind of hard to tell the difference. I'm just saying, you? I'm not some nobody. You're on your way. Believe me, you're on your way. 
He got loaded again. Drove a stolen car into a tree. Wow. No, you're somebody, all right. I hope you got a good look at your son just now. Is that some sort of threat? Damn right it is. Because if you can't see that little boy is reason enough to get yourself together, then eventually you're not going to be able to see him at all. You want to be in his life, watch him grow up, and you be somebody he can look up to. Either that or you better reconcile yourself to watching him grow up from a distance. I promise you. I'm going to go home. Take him home, all right? Leave you to whatever life you choose to live. Hey. Oh. Wow. That's some welcome, considering I was only gone about a day. Yeah, someday, though. Why? What happened? I just came from seeing David. Okay. And, and what happened? Did he figure out that you were faking your symptoms? No. I've got him believing that I need him. Great. Well, he's got to be loving that. Tell me about your trip to California. Okay. Um, David's stem cell research started on dying rats, like we thought, but it did graduate to humans. Including me. Including you. Griff confirmed it. Well, we know that David's research project works. Hard to be angry at him for making me a guinea pig when it saved my life. Plenty of other things to be angry at him for. Well, at least, um, Griffin's coming around. Kinda will be happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, we need all the help we can get bringing him down. What did Hayward say to you? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Did he say who else was there? Did he say who else he saved? This is a big step. For me? Yeah. I'm so happy that you're done with David. But I'm even happier that you've decided that you can trust me. Griffin, there's nothing that you could tell me that would change the way I feel about you. What's the matter, Griff? Afraid the answer might cost you, Kendall? You're right to worry. It just might. I wish that were true. But what I have to say could mean that we're finished before we even got started. Look, I don't want excuses. I want results. Do you understand? If anybody finds out what I've been doing before I'm ready, it'll all come crashing down. Just, look, just find Dixie before anyone else does. Dixie, how long have you been here? Dixie, everyone thinks you're dead. How... Uh, here I am. I'm... I'm peppering you with all sorts of questions, and you have no idea who or... Even where you are, do you? We'll help each other. I'll get you somewhere where you can be treated. To the hospital. No. 